people would have paid good money for a piece of automotive history. But Chrysler's lawyers said no. The cars had never been certified under federal motor vehicle safety standards. They were experimental vehicles, never intended for private ownership beyond the test program. Selling them could create liability issues. What if someone crashed? What if the car caught fire? What if an owner sued? More importantly, the cars contained proprietary technology, design elements that Chrysler considered trade secrets. If the cars got out into the world, competitors could buy them, tear them apart, study them. So Chrysler made a ruthless decision. They would destroy most of the cars. Of the 55 built, Chrysler kept nine. Two went to museums, one went to the Smithsonian, another to the Detroit Historical Museum. A few were kept for Chrysler's own collection. The other 46 were systematically destroyed. 